So welcome everybody, I'm Gerber Stout, I'm from the Delft University of Technology and I work in the group of environmental biotechnology. And today I'm here to present a little bit of our work and a little bit of our philosophy regarding waste and resources. And you will find that in a circular economy, waste and resources actually very closely link to each other. Because, as the word actually entails already, for a circular economy you need to produce the things that you're also going to consume. And if we look at our own current economy, then we see that there's a certain part, especially oils, where that doesn't comp uh, comp comply with this rule. Because we take these oils from the buffer and we produce a plethora of products under which plastics, which end up in a waste fill. And if we need more plastics, eventually we consume more of these oils. Thus, this is not a circular way. So if we want to have a circular method, we actually need to find a way to get these wastes into a new kind of source and a resource for our plastics, for example. But we don't have the technology, we don't have the methods, and we actually don't really know how to do this. But if you walk around in nature and you really observe it, then you will find that nature actually is comprised of a plethora of these circular economies. Actually, nature is, by definition, a circular, econ circular economy. So how does nature do this? It has a very peculiar trick, and this consists of millions and millions of organisms, most of these are bacteria, which actually grasp something that somebody else produces and pushes it out. And you get a cycle where someone's waste is actually someone else's product. And the question that arises is, um, is this a good or a bad thing? No, every bacteria feels very, very happy actually at the place that it is. And it's not that the tree that regards us and walk, that when we walk by and it sees us smell the air and it sees that this is disgusting oxygen that I just discreted. No, there's a very, very positive thing going on over there. But we, when we look at our waste, we actually see and we feel uh, we want to uh, dispose with, we want to distance ourselves from the waste. So um, the thing is, how can we now, uh, but we at the same time understand that this waste is also the source material for the new resources that we need. And actually that's what we did. So we went to uh, Mars, not the planet, but the factory, where they produce these small marshes. I think you all know these things. And as a result of producing the Mars, Mars actually has a big problem because of an issue. One of the issues is that they produce a lot of this stuff. This is the wastewater from Mars. It contains a lot of stuff and actually they just dis need to dispose of this. So, what did we do? We actually produced an environment, created an environment, which allows a very, very peculiar organism to thrive in there. And this one particular organism is this guy. Well, it's a million times smaller and not that fluffy, but it's this guy. And it's got some very peculiar characteristics. That when we put the environment just right, and when it thinks that it's gonna be a winter, then it's gonna go like, we, uh, like a lot of animals do, is going to try and harvest a lot of stuff. So we put it in the reactor and we get this wastewater coming in and it sees the wastewater and it's going to grab all of this wastewater and it's going to uh, start uh, filling its belly. And just like you and me, if we eat too much, we're going to develop a, a fat layer. And this guy is also going to produce some bacterial fat. So, put it over there. And uh, when they are there, they are just at a certain point, this bacteria is going to grow and grow and this is actually the champion in getting a fat belly. And we get a little bit fat, but this guy gets really fat. This fat guy gets a belly that's nine times the size that he was originally. And at a certain point, um, all these guys are filled up and we start to centrifuge. So, and obviously when you've got a big belly and you go in a centrifuge, you end up at the side of the thing. And at one part of the centrifuge, you find actually that you cleaned the water. You actually, were able to get a real product out of it, that's the clean water, which is actually a very nice thing already. But you also find that if you really look at what this bacterial sort of fat consists of, and you extract it, and you purify it, and you make it into beets, that actually, if you really closely observe it, that it's actually a bioplastic. And if you're a Mars, and you're producing something that's a bioplastic, what better to produce from this than your wrappings for your paper. So actually, if you look at this from a whole perspective, you will see that one waste actually produces two products. And we're now at the precipice of understanding and really grasping the concept that waste actually uh, is our new source and our new resource, and that 
our group is actually working on new processes that allows us to produce new resources from these sources. That's it. <laughs>